Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and it is officially February so we're going to be trying the new cookie at Gideon's Bakehouse and it's for Valentine's Day and then also they're celebrating Black History Month soulfully with some incredible food items all around Walt Disney World. So we're going to drink some coffee, eat some cookies and just have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Like I mentioned, in honor of Black History Month, Disney is celebrating soulfully with some incredible food items all around the resort, not just at Disney Springs, but here they have this awesome chicken jambalaya dog I wanna try, and then also the amazing food at the hangar bar prepared by Chef Miss D. We are going to be trying lots of amazing food today, but our first stop has got to be Gideon's to see how long the wait is. They're bringing back the very popular Eternal Flame Cookie and then also the Fire and Ice Cold Brew. These are very popular items, so I'm sure the wait's going to be long and it's always our first stop. It looks like we are in luck today. There's no virtual queue, so you just have to hop in this line here and it's probably about a 25-30 minute wait and that's not too bad at all. Like I mentioned, the Eternal Flame is back this year. They had this cookie uh, for February last year, and it's a spicy cookie. But I did hear that this year, they made it a little bit more spicier. Here is the menu for February, Forever Longing. Isn't that so sentimental? And then the cookie of the month, like I mentioned, the Eternal Flame, dark chocolate cherry cookie laced with ancho, cayenne, and cinnamon, and then topped with chocolate covered cherries. And then they have the fire and ice cold brew. A February special, our chocolate nitro brew with a warm finish. So it's very spicy, very spicy. <laughs> it is our time, look at this. Thank you. Fancy. Right. Honestly, I'm not the biggest spice fan, so I'm not too sure how much I'm gonna enjoy this cookie. I did have it last year, and I was like, oh, it's good, but I did like the cherries, so the cherries on top are actually really good, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how spicier it is, because that's what they told me, that they definitely made it more spicier, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I might turn beet red, though. And here it is, the eternal flame. I remember last year, I kept on calling it the internal, the internal flame, and then the fire and iced coffee. Look at those cherries on top, though. Look at that. That is, I mean, it, like I said, hopefully it's not too spicy, but I am with a friend, Promise Hope, who actually loves spicy things I'm she obsessed. yeah she, when we go out for wings she gets the ghost pepper ones <laughs> so i'm crazy i'm either obsessed or crazy so is it too super spicy or so i went in already and i absolutely love it i'm a little worried about you i know you're not crazy into spice but i think you can handle both and then the fire and iced coffee it just helps everything settle so you won't have an internal flame oh boy <laughs> i'm in danger <laughs> yeah. Yeah, i'm no in more. danger no <laughs> like I mentioned, the cookie itself has ancho and cayenne and cinnamon and it's topped with the chocolate covered cherries and the cherries are my favorite part of it, but here it is. Look at it. That's the back side there and we're going to have to break into it. I'm going to have chocolate fingers here though. It can be very chocolatey, but we're going for it. Here we go. Look at that. First bite. Oh, I got a cherry. That's a good start. You know, I just realized if this is really spicy, I don't have anything to wash it down with because the coffee is spicy it's too. Double spice. And double spice. Double spice. Hold on. <laughs> it does help though. It gives some relief. <sighs> oh, ah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That's like instant. The coffee is like instant. This takes a second. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. <laughs> and the coffee tastes good for like a brief second. You can taste like the chocolate or the mocha, and then all of a sudden, bang, bing, bong, bang. <laughs> You're loving it. This is, like, is it, it's your favorite cookie? This, I've only been to Gideon's about three times, but this is now my officially, my favorite combo. Wow. I see your point, that it would be nice to have maybe a regular like the, peanut butter cold brew or something. Oh. Like spice. Like it would be good to balance it. I mean, it's not horrible. I'm not like screaming in pain no. and agony but it does have a little kick to it. <laughs> 
just to give you guys like a little like like heat preference i eat mild wings like I, I get mild sauce and I could eat this cookie. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not troublesome, but it's not something I enjoy. You know what I mean? Even though the cherries are pretty good. Mix up the iced coffee a little bit. What they actually do is they put the coffee in there and then they pour, I think the ancho and the cayenne on top, like the seasoning. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it a little spicy. So you gotta, you know. Mix it around. Everyone loves that sound. Oh, yeah. Enough of the cookie business. Like I said, if you like spicy things, you're gonna really enjoy the cookie and coffee combo. And even if you don't like it, like the cookie is fine. Like it's not that spicy. I, I like I said, I mentioned I love those cherries, and I do have to say the coffee is definitely spicier and it hits you faster. So if you don't like spice, probably just see if you like the cookie. And if you like the cookie, then maybe try out the coffee. You know. Right across from Gideon's is Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. And like I mentioned, I wanted to come over and see my friend Chef D. And I love her food. The fried sweet potato hand pies and the chicken on the egg, all on the Celebrate Soul Flea menu. And they are so good, especially this maple bourbon sauce. Oh man, I cannot wait. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar is a walk-up only, and usually it has a wait to get in, but today, we're lucky enough, we're just gonna be able to get a table right away. I love coming and hanging out at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, and I think today, I'm actually gonna get Reggie's Revenge. This is one of like their house signature drinks, and I always like pointing it out, but look at this. This is it sitting on the counter, Reggie's Revenge. It just looks so majestic. If you guys have ever seen Indiana Jones, then you'll know that Reggie is the steak and this is his revenge drink. So normally I don't get it, but I feel like, you know what, might as well. It is a fun drink to show. So we got that and then we also got the two uh, Celebrate Soul Fleet dishes. The uh, sweet potato ham pies and the chicken on the egg. I ran into a friend who actually got Gracie some, some cupcakes. cupcakes. Look at that. Every dog needs her cupcakes. Thank you. I, you know I was going to definitely get I her some today. Anyways, I might as well save your trip. Oh, well, thank you so much. Happy birthday. And also, look at the Dalmatian tattoo. Yeah. Look at that. I love, I love it. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thanks, <laughs> Bye. Bye. And here they are, Reggie's Revenge. They look revengeful. I know, and I think it's got uh, Midori in there, and then like orange vodka. Yes. It's it's a very tropical drink. Yes, it's very tropical. And it looks cool too, doesn't it? On the water. On the water. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Cheers. No, it's time when the spirit level is Oh, that's good. It does kind of give me like an Ecto Cooler vibe. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, it's bringing me back to you, Jason. Yep, some Ecto Cooler. <laughs> And now our chicken on the egg came out and look at this. Fried chicken on a deviled egg with hot honey sauce. And I remember, I'm not a big deviled egg fan, but this chicken was just so good last time I had it. I was so pumped to get it again. You know, it's good when they actually bring something back because it was such a popular item. You know what I mean? And this was on the menu for a little bit and then they took it away and so many people were like, hey, where's the chicken on the egg? And what are you doing to yourself with the hot honey? Like the, every Oh yeah, now I'm going. Oh. I feel like we should get our napkins ready. <laughs> sink it and sink it. Sink it and sink it. There we go. Mmm. That's good. Honestly, I love the chicken. I love the hot honey sauce. It's not hot hot. Mm -mm. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> like it's not like you know what I mean. It's I mean it's like a, a mild hot, but it's so good with the honey and the egg. And like I said, I don't even eat deviled eggs, but I can I can just eat so many of these. And it's fifteen dollars, and you get what six of them. It's not a bad price. It's pretty filling. I love the fact now I don't have to get Gracie any cups. I don't have to go to Sprinkles, but she loves these little things. Look at this. I can't wait. We'll give it to her later on. Now that we got to try the chicken on the egg, the hand pies are here and look at these. Doesn't this look amazing? It looks like it's a dessert. Right? It is kind but of a it's dessert. Like a savory sweet. Thing. Yeah. It looks so good. Honestly, the way I and I can smell them. I can smell them. We got two, two hand pies. For yeah, one Wait, and one. I have two hands. So you got two I hands. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine just holding both of the hand pies in your hands? <laughs> 
These hand pies are $10 and they are sweet potato filled. They have pecan crumbles on top with the maple bourbon sauce. It's a little bit sticky and it's delicious, trust me. I'm gonna try to break open one of these. They're very hot, they're very crispy, but it's what's inside that matters. Look at this. I'm gonna try to focus in on the delicious sweet potato pies. Look at that. Much too good. All right, we're going in for a bite. Hot! So hot, but very good. Honestly, I love it. And I love the crispness. Like, the, the, the actual, like, pastry itself is very crisp, and the sweet potato's good. Very, very good. And I love the maple bourbon sauce. All right, it's time to move along, but make sure you guys come check out Chef D here at the Hangar Bar. Let her know that you guys saw my video. Her food is so delicious, and she does other specials. It's just this one is for February, and it is so good, and I love it. I always love the food from Hangar Bar. It's got my number one pretzel, too, that comes on the charcuterie board. It's so amazing, and up next, we're going to go see about a hot dog. Our next foodie stop brings us over to BB Woofs for the chicken jambalaya dog. Look at this. And I actually just ran into the chef that created this and yeah, I told him I'm so excited because I like the Mardi Gras dog that they had here before. And it is a chicken jambalaya dog with smoked sausage, roasted corn, lemon caper aioli on a Tuscan roll served with chips for $11.99. Very cool. It's kind of funny because Chef Juan was over at uh, the hangar bar trying Chef D's hand pies and then she came over to try the chicken jambalaya dog and then they told me I need to make my way over to get the poutine and also polite pig. So like I said, we're gonna be trying lots of food but I'm happy that Promise is here with me too. She's making a video so we're sharing the video, we're sharing the food and that way we don't have to get too stuffed, you know? Too full. Look at this, here it is, the chicken jambalaya dog. I also like how they toast the buns on here, but I'm excited to dive into it. You guys know I love jambalaya, so when I saw this on the menu, I knew I had to come out and try it. And I also like the grill marks on the smoked sausage. Look at that, a nice little char, just the way I love it. And uh, me and Promise are gonna split it. We're gonna cut it right in half. Hopefully there's nothing hot on this one. Promise just said it. Is there something hot on this? It seems like everything for February has been hot for like Valentine's Day. And uh, yeah, I think we're good for this. Yeah. Well, Promise thinks she need to eat it with a fork. Yeah. I can't eat a hot dog with a fork, so I'm gonna have to, oh wait. Uh, oh, I think you have to eat it with a fork. <laughs> yep, I, I have to agree with you. I said it's a fork or porker. A fork or porker. <laughs> This is definitely a sloppy dog right here, but I'm going in for it. Look at it. I mean, lots of flavor here. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's good though. It's very good. It's good. I like the sausage probably most, and I like the corn on there. Look at this. It's actually holding up pretty good right now. Yeah. You can, yeah, see, you're doing it. You're doing it. Exactly. A piece of the sausage fell off, but take a look at that. Look at the char marks on there. It is so good. The peppers mixture in there with the corn, little red pepper there. I like it. And I also like the aioli. I'm not a big fan of aioli, but the capers aioli actually hits really well with this. The chicken jambalaya dog was as good as I thought it was going to be. And it does come with chips, but I told them to keep their chips. So it's actually pretty affordable, I mean, when you look at the price of things, especially the quality of, like, hot dog that you get. I mean, you know, normally when you go to a place, it's very fast, but it actually took time to prepare because they cooked the sausages right there. It's, it's actually put together amazingly. So congratulations to Chef Tuan because he knocked it out of the park with it. Ah, get it? Out of the park? I love how Disney Springs is kind of making like a little food festival. You know what I mean? Like you go to Food and Wine, you go around and try a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing is that it's big portions, so I'm lucky promises with me. So I wish they had like smaller portions and like had like a lanyard that you could like buy. I think that would be really cool, especially at the Springs. It would bring people on in. Right over here at the Daily Poutine, they've got the Jamaican Jerk Chicken Fritz. Look at this. Chef Kim put this together. Uh, Jamaican jerk chicken, sweet and hot marinated chicken, 
pineapple salsa, scotch bonnet aioli with french fries. And it looks actually amazing for $10.49. Hey, this is what you have to be worried about. Not the hot marinated jerk chicken. The scotch bonnet aioli. Scotch bonnet is like an extremely spicy pepper. It's I, like up there. Really? Yeah. I think I was calling it scotch bonnet. <laughs> Scotch bonnet, but it's very spicy. Very spicy. It looks like the jerk uh, poutine is actually not ready yet. So we're going to have to come back and try it a little bit later on, hopefully, once it actually gets up the temp. So I might be safe from eating the very spicy peppers that Promise was talking about. In the meantime, I think we're going to head to Amaretz and see what kind of uh, special soulfully desserts they have or Valentine's desserts, too. It looks like they have a soul petite cake from the movie. That's kind of interesting. Chocolate chiffon cake, dark chocolate mousse, raspberry, white chocolate. It's $22 though. 22 It's a pretty big cake, but that's a lot. I mean, I want to see what else they have in there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that today. Looks like they don't have anything for Valentine's Day yet. Just the uh, soulfully cake. And like I said, $22, that's a big cake. I think we're gonna have to pass on it. And usually it sells out. Like whenever they have the signature cake, it's usually sold out, but they do have some available today. And of course, since we're making our rounds, I need to stop at my favorite restaurant at Disney Springs, The Polite Pig, because they're actually doing a soulfully special, and it is polite pork belly it's like fried pork belly and beef empanadas together pork belly and beef empanadas and that just sounds something like i would absolutely love we decided to actually order the empanadas and the pot pie and i'm excited because you guys know i love cornbread but they also have an uncle nearest old-fashioned and i think it comes with a special bitters in it so we're gonna get a little old-fashioned you know Orange bitters and Augustora. Why is bourbon? It's so good. So, so good. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the old fashioned. That was a big sip. But it's smooth. So smooth. Wow. I like it. It is actually really, really good. And the Uncle Nearest is a type of whiskey, actually. That's the name of it. But I think it's really good. Very nice. Very unique. All right, here are the specials. We've got the beef empanadas, then we got the fried pork belly right there, and then what is this, pickly? This is the pickly, so yeah. it's kind of definitely a soulful, like mixed up, almost like slaw. Spicy slaw. It's a spicy slaw. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. And then the other special, which is this pot pie, and look at it. It's a whole skillet, it's cornbread on top, hot honey, and it all just, like this is why this is my favorite restaurant. Like look at this, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely, I cannot wait to dive in. And the old fashioned was phenomenal too. I honestly don't even know which one I should start with because they all look phenomenal. The fried pork belly definitely is something that I'm all about, but this cornbread and the hot honey, like chicken pot pie, I didn't even think that was a thing. Alright, I think I'm gonna start off with some of the pork belly here. Oh, it's so crispy. I thought I was buy I thought I was grabbing a small piece, but I ended up grabbing like a whole chunk. Look at that. I'm not too sure what the sauce is on here. They don't have a description for it because it's a sh like a special, but uh, I mean I I I'm interested no matter what, so here we go. Wow. The fried pork belly isn't fatty at all it's actually like a nice tender delicious like bite and it's got a real nice crispness to it from the frying and now i think i'll dive into one of the beef empanadas here i don't want to break me off a piece of that fancy feast if you've ever had like a little hand pie or an empanada you know the end pieces kind of don't have any meat in it because that's where they seal it off but here we go I got a flower in my mouth. Oh. It's literally like jalapeno in the pickles. Let me know the spice level. It's spicy. 
Oh boy. That's the spicy meat the ball. That's the no. spicy meat the ball. That is so good because like normally I won't like coleslaw because it can be like overly mayonnaise. Yeah. But pickles, which is like a traditional African dish, this is amazing. It's That's the so, stuff. So so good. Wow. But it's hot. But you should try it. <laughs> Chef Celio really knocked it out of the park here because it is a perfect combination between sweet and spicy and that's how it's paired together. I love the empanada and I love the pork, but now I really want to get to that cornbread chicken pot pie. Even though the hot honey is a little intimidating, I'm all about pot pie. I honestly don't even want to break into it because it's so pretty, but we have to bite in. Look at this. Look at that cornbread. Oh, man. oh my lanta. This shouldn't be. This really shouldn't, this shouldn't, oh my lord. What? I'm afraid this might be my new favorite thing I've ever had at Polite Pig. It looks so good and it's everything that I love, so here we go. Wow. I knew it. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. It's like eating cornbread dumplings. <laughs> like honestly, look at the corn in there, the carrots. It is so good. And then the little bit of hot honey on top. This is a phenomenal dish right here. And this isn't gonna be here much longer. So if you guys wanna try it, you gotta get it while it's hot. This will be here for all of February. And this is fantastic. I, I absolutely love it, but I love cornbread. <laughs> Promise is telling me I really need to try the pickles here. So I'm gonna try some. I'm going for it. She you said like it's. Coleslaw. Is it super, super hot? Super hot. Super hot. <laughs> oh. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can feel that. Oh, boy. That, that's the internal burn. The internal flame. I can feel it on the tongue. Honestly, the heat is not that, oh, you know what, I, it's that bad. I feel it. Like, as I'm talking now, I'm like, okay, it's getting worse. It, it has a big kick to it. But you want to pair it and eat it all together. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it's a, it's a good combo. Very good combo. I think it's fair to say that the polite pig was my favorite thing of the day. Even better than the Gideon's cookie. I mean, I absolutely love the empanadas, and then that pot pie is it's gonna live in my head rent free for a long time. It is that good. I'm telling you, if you like cornbread and you like pot pie, you have to come try it. And also the whole entire staff of Polite Pig, they're so awesome. I love coming here and saying hi to people. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I think we're gonna take a break from eating because we've been sampling a lot of food and maybe go on a little adventure. Something high, something scary. I'm excited for this. We're going to see Disney Springs from the air, and we're going to go on the balloon attraction. A lot of people think this is a hot air balloon, but it's actually a balloon full of helium, and we're going all the way up. Prices for this experience are $25 for adults, $20 for children, and ages 2 and under are free, and you go up to 400 feet in the air. That's insane. I've done it before, and I love it. In the past, this used to be called Characters in Flight. Now it's something different, but it's always gonna be that to me, and I love it. I've done it before, and it's just something really cool to do when you come to Springs. Yeah, I think it's called Aerophile now, the world leader in balloon flight. I like Characters in Flight a little bit better. Aerophile. And uh, when you do do this, you actually have to sign a waiver. You have to go through like a waiver process, and they sell pins and stuff like that, but it is really cool. It's actually cool because when you fill out the disclaimer, you actually have to take a picture of yourself. So I like this. <laughs> We're going all the way up. I'm so excited. I love this. And it's going to be so cool and refreshing up there. Because like, you're going to feel all the air and the views are going to be spectacular. And I also think we timed this perfectly for a nice little sunset. It's 518. So probably within the next 45 minutes, it's going to start getting like that golden hour. And we're waiting in line. This is what we got going on now. I think we're next. But there she is, all the way up. She's coming back down now. This is Promise's first time doing this. I had all the hot things, and that made me feel high in the head. And now we're actually going to be high, high yep. in the heart. 
It's so crazy. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful when we get up there. I can see the sun is like the perfect time right now. This is nice. Did you say your nerves are kicking in a little bit? It's on wheels. Welcome to the balloon of terror. I mean airplane. <laughs> This is incredible. Wow. It's a little wobbly. Look at this. The sun is really peeking in right now. It's like it's like the golden hour. My name is Crash and I'll be your pilot. <laughs> Everybody hold on to the handrail, please. You're gonna feel just a little bit of motion as we take off here, guys. Oh boy. So hold on, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't lost anybody this week. <laughs> You're right? Yeah. <laughs> this is my second flight today, so I'm Still early! So this isn't letting us up, this is holding us down to the ground. <laughs> All right, guys, you're going to feel just a little bump here. We're going to come to a stop. We're bumping. Oh, boy. Now we're going up a little bit faster. <laughs> you're going to feel one more little bump. Ooh. You can let go. Or you can stay where you're at and be a member of the White Knuckle Club. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you can see Spaceship Earth over there. Oh my gosh. You can. Yeah. You can see Everest too and the Tower of Terror. The Tower of Terror. Wow. This is incredible. There's the boathouse down there. Oh, we're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> wow. This is nifty, isn't it? The only hot air in this balloon is me. Oh, it's like balloon. <laughs> All right, guys, you're gonna feel just a little bump here. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Now, most everything having to do with Walt Disney World and Walt Disney World property of 30,000 acres is all to the west of us. If you are directionally challenged, there's a compass right down the middle. Oh, yeah. There is, I promise. This is really incredible. I love doing this. This is worth $25. 100%. 100% so I feel like it's worth. The contemporary. Look at the contemporary. You can actually see Cinderella Castle too. The ampu, uh, the ampu cars from the boathouse. Look at them. They look like little tiny matchboxes in the water right there. But right over yonder is where the contemporary is. And you can see Bay Lake, Epcot. You can see Guardians of the Galaxy. That's that big blue building right there. Very nifty. All of Disney Springs down there. Honestly, Saratoga Springs from this angle looks like such a massive resort. Like it goes from one side right here all the way back there too. That's incredible. I really love it up here. It's the perfect time. And do they have a golf course? Oh yeah, well that's, yeah, they have two golf courses. Yeah, you can yeah. see it right from here. Look at that sunset happening right now. <laughs> It's a good, this is a good spot right here. This is magic. Oh, I think we're heading back down right now. We're making our slow descent. Look at that car down there. You're not going to see the landing. You're going to feel the landing. Yeah, I'm going to feel the landing. <laughs> oh boy, we're coming in. Here we go. Guys, as we get a little bit closer to the bottom down here, we're going to come to a stop and then get down the rest of the way a little slower. We are on wheels. We may roll a little bit, so hold on to the handrail. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Oh boy, here we go. Steady. Steady. You're going to feel a bump here, guys. Oh boy. Everybody enjoyed their flight. <laughs> I know, right? It's hard to walk on right now. I'm holding on for dear life here. But this was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much, Crash. Have a 
Have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too. That was a lot of fun. Well worth $25. And I think we're done here. Our time to head home. Give Gracie her little pup cakes. It was nice to hang out with Promise. Make sure you guys check out her video at Promise Hope. I'll tag her uh, channel in the description. But it was a fun adventurous day. Now it's time to go home and see the, see the baby girl, the princess. Here she is. The most beautiful dog on earth. I got some pup cakes for you. I want to show you guys something. I got black bed sheets. I want to show you guys how much Gracie's hair is shedding. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's you. That's you. But I love it. I love sleeping with Gracie. I love that she lays in bed with me. You are so special. You want pup cake? Huh? Pup cake? Come on, not on the bed. There you go, take it out of the wrapper. You gotta take it out of the wrapper. Whoop. There you go. She loves them. <laughs> Why are you so silly? Why are you so silly? And with that, I think we are done here today. What an epic day. I had so much fun hanging out with Promise, going around trying all the food. And I have to say, like I said, Polite Pig stole the show. And then I would probably say uh, the Hangar Bar because that was really also amazing. And then probably the dog and then Gideon's. But overall, I, should, I wish we could go back and try those fries. But it was on the other side. So maybe, maybe we'll do a part two. I mean, there's still plenty of things that I didn't get a chance to check out. And there's going to be soulfully food all around Walt Disney World for the next couple days and I want to try to try a little bit of all of it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye